Hey guys, it's Power Wings. This is vlog number one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start doing these things on a regular basis. I don't know how frequently quite yet just because I don't know what I'll be able to cram into my schedule on a daily basis because um, my schedule is pretty tight. Um, but what I want to do is talk a little bit about myself and a little bit of what I'm doing. So today is Christmas Eve 2016. So first of all, Merry Christmas to anyone who uh, celebrates Christmas out there. If you celebrate other holidays, just happy holidays to you guys. Um, it has been a nice morning. I have gotten the most sleep I've gotten all week. I crashed after last night's stream and um, slept really well. I've noticed that the pain in my neck and shoulder that I was talking about in last night's stream is gone. Um, which is, I shouldn't say gone, I can get, I mean, if you were watching my stream last night, this mobility was almost impossible. It's still uncomfortable, but it is better. Um, I found basically that if I'm sleeping on my back, that's probably going to be better for me than sleeping on uh, how I have been. I've been sleeping on my left side, so I think that's where that pain's coming from. I'm probably causing some nerve pinching um, and muscle constriction in my neck. Um, but yeah, so we're going to work on sleeping on my back some more, which is not an easy thing for me because I don't find it incredibly comfortable, but hopefully as I go on doing it, it will get more comfortable. Um, but so what's on the horizon? What's about me? Um, that's kind of what I'm here to talk about. So first of all, um, about me, uh, my name is Josh. I am, um, in my mid thirties. I was born in the early eighties. Um, I've been a gamer since the NES era and since it was new, not um, not since it was had been out for a significant amount of time. It was one of the only consoles available at the time um, and was really the most popular console at the time, um, at least among all the people I knew. So um, I've been a gamer for that long and a lot of people ask me, um, what is my favorite game? It's a tough question because... Um, there are so many games that I really like, um, but a lot of them um, are of different genres. One of my favorites, though, is uh, Doom. Um, Doom for the PC. Um, and actually, I really like it for any genre, or, or for any uh, console or um, PC iteration. I love Doom, um, with the exception of Doom 3. But the reason I love Doom, the first one, so much, um, the graphics really don't stand up to today's games. They don't. Um, but what Doom did is it really brought that type of gaming of, of first-person shooters and competitive multiplayer um, into center stage of gaming and really began showcasing how awesome that stuff was. Some of my other favorites are stuff like um, Chrono Trigger. I love Chrono Trigger. It's one of my favorite RPGs, um, as is Earthbound. It's a really silly one, um, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I also like Final Fantasy IX. Some people will kind of bitch at me for that, for not being, oh my god, Seven is amazing. Um, and I can go into a whole video about my favorite games, but that's some of the basics. Um, I am a father, a husband, and I have a full-time job. Um, I'm married to my beautiful wife, another victim, 09, and we have two beautiful children. Um, we had our second just a few months ago. Um, so one of our children is three, the other is just a couple months old. Um, so I spend a lot of time with my family raising my children um, and tending to adult life. Um, full time I work in IT as I have for the last basically 18 to 20 years. Um, I've really worked in IT since I was about 16 because I was doing odds and ends IT jobs for people. Um, either building computers, setting up networks, um, geek squad type of installation stuff. Um, I haven't done any crazy too complex installations um, for other people, but I've started to do some of my own projects. Um, so one of the things I'm doing, if you follow my Twitch uh, show and watch regularly, you'll know I'm also a new homeowner. I uh, recently purchased my first home uh, with my wife, and we are redoing, um, or actually doing, um, installation of home networking stuff because I like wired over wireless. You get a much, uh, much more consistent signal um, throughout everywhere as well as you get that fast speed everywhere your connections are. Um, so I'm doing that. I'm starting to actually do that through the walls. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not pulling the sheetrock down and running conduit or anything cool like that. Um, I wish I were. I wish I had that kind of time right now, um, but I'm not. I'm just doing basic replacement of some of the cables or running 
easy location. So the nice thing right now, I've been able to run it alongside my cable TV. The wires to those, to the main areas I've had to wire so far, um, have not been a challenge. And I've got a conduit out to my studio that is separate from my home um, already run. So that's all done. Now, I'm just trying to figure out how to get the cable through there because I don't know where it comes into the studio. So that's one of the projects I'm working on. Um, so I've got it run a different way for now. Um, I do stream from my studio, and at some point when I get everything organized in here, since I've only lived here for a couple of months, it's like our third month in the house. Um, but I haven't really had any time to get everything organized. I really started in the house and have kind of worked my way. I've still got some stuff in the garage. I've still got some stuff in here in the studio that's not cleaned up. Um, and I know you, um, I know I have a setup video out there of, or a couple of photos out there of my setup as I'm putting it together. Um, but I'm going to be changing that actually. Um, this desk that I'm on currently, I've got a monitor here and a monitor here and then my laptop directly below the camera. Um, that setup is going to change. Um, I don't like this desk I have anymore. It, it was cool when I first got it, but what I found is I bumped my elbows on, there's two, um, offshoot pieces that come in and try and kind of make a little enclosed workspace. I bump my elbows on that a lot and I think I'm going to probably transition to something a little more um, custom, potentially even with a sit-stand option. Um, I really like that. I have one at work and it is a beautiful thing. Um, with the holidays coming, uh, with the kind of holiday time coming up here, so we have New Year's and Christmas stacked back to back. Um, I have a few days extra off work. Um, I have Mondays because that's when the holidays fall. If you know corporate structure, it's usually if a holiday falls on a Sunday, you have a Monday, Friday, or a Saturday. It's a Friday that you get off. So I will be um, trying to do some extra content this Monday and the following Monday uh, just to get a little bit extra. And then I have uh, some other time off that I have to take um, during that window as well or in the near future as well. Uh, so I'm going to try and do that. Um, but right now I'm working on my project this coming week is going to be finishing the data closet. So I bought a um, open air server rack that I can mount to my wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount that to the wall and then I'm going to insert the um, 24, ports, 24 port gigabit switch and um, 20, uh, 48 port uh, patch panel that I have. And the reason I did that is I want expandability. So I'm going to use 24 ports now and then for some of the stuff I plan on adding to our home in the near future. I'll get a second switch at that point, um, or maybe move that gigabit down and get a 10 gig switch for the primary stuff. Um, but that's kind of what I'm working on right now, and you'll notice I'm shifting around a little bit. This chair just is atrocious. I don't even know what brand it is. It's some office chair I bought for 100 and maybe 10 bucks, 115 bucks um, at home, Office Depot or Office Max, something like that. One of the office uh, big chain stores. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got coming up here in the next few weeks, and um, I'm also going to be kicking off another project this year that I intended to kick off last year, um, and that's going to be another um, video project, so I'm hoping I can get all of this in, and you guys might actually get some of that um, as well, but that's going to be a show called Journeys with Josh. I'm, I've got a lot of the stuff set up for that already, I'm just really... Um, keep trying to get time to do the shooting, so I've got to get out there and do um, the video shoots. Um, but that should be stuff I'm going to get taken care of here in the near future. Um, and I'm also going to start trying to do more vlogs for you guys, so you guys can hang out and talk with me um, about stuff. If you have questions or stuff you'd like me to answer in future vlogs, just throw those down in the comments section down below. Um, and if I can work them in or if I get a lot of common questions, I will. Um, I will get those answered. Um, but anyways, if you like this stuff, if you like that I'm doing vlogs, give this a thumbs up. Um, if you don't, give me the thumbs down. You know what? Tell me you suck. Um, I've got thick skin, so it doesn't really bug me. Um, but with that, guys, I think that's where I'm going to sign off for this at this point. Um, so we will catch you guys on our normal shows coming up this week. Um, and I may have some other stuff I start doing. Um, no unboxing videos coming up. I really don't have any... Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Scratch that. I do. Um, I have The Last Guardian that has been sitting waiting to do an unboxing. Um, and if I roll aside here, I've got a couple uh, classic unboxing videos that I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and do one of my A40s. I'm going to rebox those up and try and do those to do a comparison for 
um, to the 850s. And then I've got uh, Aliens, uh, oh, what the hell is it? Aliens, Colonial Marines. And uh, I'm trying to remember if I put my Destiny one up. I don't think I did. I'm going to do a Destiny one as well, um, as well as Assassin's Creed 3. So I've got those as to do a retro unboxing video. Um, which I got asked by one of my regular viewers if I would start doing some retros of the collector's editions I have. Um, I've also got Bioshock Infinite and Uncharted 3 that I can do as well, so those will be coming up in the future. Um, but again, if you liked it, if you didn't, and uh, subscribe and follow all that good stuff. Catch you guys later.